Hello everyone, welcome to our 3D printer NB basic training session. This is Susie from Uniz. Today I'll guide you on how to properly use our NB printer. Whether you're new to 3D printing or looking to learn more about operating this printer, I'll provide detailed guidance for you. Let's get started. Today's training will cover the following topics. Get to know NB installation and setup, operation guide, features, maintenance and care, after sales service and support. The NB printer employs a liquid crystal display to precisely solidify photosensitive resin layer by layer, enabling the creation of intricate 3D objects. This technology delivers exceptional resolution and rapid printing speeds, ideal for tasks like prototyping, model making, and small scale production. Furthermore, NB's array of patented technologies gives it a significant edge in printing speed, accuracy, and reliability compared to other printers. Despite its advanced technology, using the NB is actually very straightforward. From the structure diagram, you can see it consists primarily of a print area at the top and a main body. All operations of the NB can be completed through the touch screen on the main body. In fact, even someone who has never used a 3D printer before can easily learn how to operate the NB within 30 minutes. Let's install and set up your NB printer together. I will demonstrate how to correctly install and test the printer. Afterward, we will connect your printer to the network and install the dental slicing software. Let's validate the printer now, carefully checking for any damages on the exterior and verifying if the voltage on the nameplate of the printer matches the local standards. On the back casing of the printer, there is a cover plate. When you open it, you'll find the accessory boxes inside. Let me introduce the accessories of NB. Resin tank. The resin tank serves to store liquid resin material and provide it for printing operations. Build platform. The cured resin layers of the print adhere sequentially to the build platform during the printing process. Power cable. The power cable connects the power supply to the device to provide the required electricity. USB flash drive. There is a test file inside it for the first printing test. Wi-Fi dongle. The printer does not have built-in Wi-Fi function. Plugging the Wi-Fi dongle into the NB's USB interface can help NB connect to Wi-Fi. There are two identical ones, one of which is spare. Scraping card. Used to check and stir the resin in the resin tank. Sandpaper. After the build platform has been used for a period of time, the surface friction may not be enough. At this time, you can use sandpaper to polish the platform diagonally. Protective film. Protect the LCD screen. When resin solidifies on the protective film, it should be replaced in time. Metal scraper, used to shovel the model from the build platform. Film auxiliary scraper, used to drive away air bubbles under the screen protector when applying it. Resin. The gifted resin can be used for the first test printing. Disposable glove. Protects skin from damage when in contact with liquid resin. Cleaning cloth, used to wipe LCD screens and touch screens. Hexagon wrench M5 and M3, used to remove and install M5 or M3 screws when servicing the printer. Warranty card, information about NBE's warranty policy. MSDS, material safety data sheet, provides safety information about resin. Quick start guide, guide to help users install and use NBE. User manual. Provide users with detailed information and guidance on how to properly use a product or service. Detail packing list. A list of all items of NB to help users check them. Screws pack. Spare screws for resin tank. The LCD screen and the light source system are the core components of a 3D printer. After powering on, it's essential to verify their status immediately to ensure they are in good condition. Press the Tools button gently, then select LCD Test to perform the LCD test without installing the build platform and resin tank. When you see the complete logo displayed on the screen, 
it indicates that the printer's LCD screen and light source system are functioning properly. Okay, after verifying the printer, now it's time to get it set up. At the bottom of NB, there are four wheels. Turn the leveling screw on the four wheels to extend the leveling feet until all of them touch the floor. This will help the printer maintain stability. When moving the printer, you can loosen the screws again to lift the feet off the ground. After moving is completed, lower the feet back to the ground again. Secondly, on the LCD screen, there is a protective film. Please peel off this film to reveal the actual screen protector underneath. Note that there is a label marked 2 on the film. Place the resin tank onto the LCD screen, ensuring that the assembly holes at the bottom of the resin tank align with the positioning pins. Then tighten the four corner blocks. Install the build platform and tighten the knob clockwise. Gently shake the build platform by hands to check if it is securely installed. Now, let's connect the printer to the network. It can be done in two ways, Wi-Fi and Ethernet, but these two methods cannot be used simultaneously. If you need to connect the printer to Wi-Fi, please insert the Wi-Fi dongle into any available port on the left side of the printer. Then, let's get into the settings interface. Choose Wi-Fi. Find your Wi-Fi network. Input the password. After waiting, when you see the IP address displayed below the input box, it means you're successfully connected. All right. The second way is using Ethernet cable to connect the printer to the network. Let's start by inserting the Ethernet cable into the port located at the back of the printer. Then, go to the Settings menu and enable DHCP mode. The printer will automatically establish a network connection. Once you see an IP address displayed in the IP address field, it indicates that the network connection is successful. However, if the automatic connection fails, you'll need to manually input the IP address, net mask, gateway, DNS, and other information. Summary. An IP address is a string of numbers. When the IP address appears, it indicates that the printer has successfully connected to the network. Next up, we will download the dental software for the printer. The dental software is a slicing software specially developed for dental printers like NB. Its functionalities are powerful, capable of not only completing model slicing, but also supporting functions like converting scan data to models, automatic arrangement, and automatic support addition. Scan the QR code to enter the download interface. After installation, open the software, click the plus sign under the printer section, to add your printer, enter the IP address displayed on the printer's networking interface, click Connect. Upon successful connection, it will display Printer Added Successfully. Please note, the software and printer should be at the same network. Congratulations on completing the installation. Let's proceed to the Operation Guide section. In this section, we will cover printing process and post process. Before each print, we need to ensure the following steps. 1. The wheels at the bottom of the printer are locked. 2. The four blocks of the resin tank are locked. 3. The build platform is securely installed. These are crucial for ensuring a successful print. Otherwise, issues like layer misalignment may occur. Step 4. Fully shake the resin bottle upside down for about one minute. If there is resin left over in the resin tank, use the scraping card to mix the resin evenly. When resin is left standing for a long time, its formula may be separated, leading to print failures. From these two images, we can observe a significant difference between mixed and unmixed resin. Step 5. Pour the resin into resin tank. Please note that the maximum capacity of the resin tank is 400 milliliter, so do not overfill the resin. Additionally, ensure that the amount of resin poured is greater than 100 milliliter. Sufficient resin is required to ensure successful printing. 
Step six, check. There is no residue on the build platform or in the resin tank. This step is crucial and highly important. Otherwise, the LCD screen and other accessories may be damaged. Next, we are going to transfer the printing file into printer. We have two methods to do this, one transferring via USB flash drive, two, sending the file from software over the network. When using a USB flash drive, please be mindful of the following. The specifications of the USB flash drive need to be FAT32, and the slice files must be stored in the root directory. When using software to send files, the printer and software should be connected to the same network. After completing the slicing operation, click Send to transfer the file to the printer's local storage. After transferring, enter the file management interface, check the checkbox in front of the file you want to print, then click the play button to initiate the printing process. Before printing, the system will prompt you to confirm the build platform and reason tank status once again. Please confirm these details carefully. You'll notice in the confirmation interface at the bottom right, a checkbox option labeled enable resin preheating. For optimal printing results, resin should be maintained at a specific temperature. When the indoor temperature is below 18 degrees Celsius, it's recommended to enable preheating. The system will use the printer's built-in cooling system to heat the resin before printing starts. This feature is only effective for the current print job. Entering the printing interface, you will see various printing-related information, such as the printing progress, current layer, time left, and more. It's worth mentioning that clicking pause or stop will not immediately halt the printer. Rather, it will stop after completing the current layer of printing. After the printing begins, close the front cover to avoid potential issues. Wait for a while. The printing will be completed. Then you can perform appropriate post-processing operations based on your application. Please note that remove the model promptly to avoid any issues. Congratulations on completing your learning about printing operations. Now let's explore the printer's user interface together. In this section, we will learn about some basic settings and functions of the NB printer. After the printer is powered on, we will enter the standby interface. On the left side navigation bar, you will find the following options in sequence, standby, file management, tools, and settings. In the printing operation part, we've already introduced some of the file management interface. Actually, you can also manage files here, like import files from a USB flash drive into the local storage and delete individual or all local files. Please refer to the video. Now, let's take a look at NB's tools. There are five commonly used tools. LCD test, zero and leveling, exposure cleaning, automatic preheating, and motor control. Let's start with the LCD test. This tool is to test the operational status of the light source system and LCD screen. When you see the complete logo as the picture shows on the screen, it indicates light source system and LCD screen work fine. On the contrary, if you see an incomplete logo, vertical strips, or no logo displayed on the screen, it indicates a fault with the printer's light source system. You will need to contact us for resolution. Zero and leveling. This function is used to ensure that the build platform and the LCD screen are properly aligned horizontally, which means all positions on the build platform are at the same distance from the LCD screen. The printer has already been leveled before leaving the factory, so you do not need to level it now. Only when you replace another build platform would you need to level it again. Now, let's look at one of the most important functions of the NB printer, exposure cleaning. 
These pictures are from real customers. During the printing process, if there are resin residues not cleaned out from the resin tank, the LCD screen or even the cooling board beneath the screen can be damaged. In order to avoid this situation, when encountering a printing failure, it is essential to perform an exposure cleaning operation. Exposure cleaning is using intense UV exposure to remove uncured resin from the resin tank. During this process, the printer's LCD screen is fully illuminated to ensure that any uncured resin in the tank is exposed and cured. This helps clear out any residues in the resin tank, reducing the risk of print failures. After exposure cleaning, we need to remove the cured resin layer from the resin tank. You may observe that residues are stuck to the cured resin layer. Now let's see automatic preheating. When the indoor temperature is consistently below 18 degrees Celsius for an extended period, it is recommended to activate this feature. Once activated, the system will automatically monitor the printer temperature and use the built-in liquid circulation system to heat the printer. It is advisable to keep the printer powered on with the resin tank containing resin placed on the LCD screen. The last tool is motor control. This feature controls the printer's motor for lifting operations. On one hand, it is used for issue detection. On the other hand, when power is restored after an outage, it allows the build platform to lift up for easy removal of printed items. Finally, let's take a look at the settings interface. In the settings interface, you can change the printer's language, name, and perform UI and firmware upgrades. Additionally, you can obtain the printer's serial number. The printer's SN is a crucial credential provided by us for customer support and warranty services. It consists of a long string of numbers and can be obtained all at once by scanning a QR code. Now let's learn about the maintenance of NB Printer. Proper maintenance can extend the lifespan of the printer. In this section, we will discuss cleaning NB, resin recycling and storage, moving and transporting NB. Firstly, we need to prepare some tools for cleaning the printer. Dust-free cloth, you can find it in accessories box, alcohol with a concentration exceeding 90%, some alcohol-free wipes, tissue, and soft bristle brush. For the printer body, spray alcohol onto a tissue and gently wipe it. Use alcohol-free wet wipes to clean the front cover. Because the printer's front cover is made of acrylic, using alcohol with a concentration exceeding 90% can potentially cause the acrylic to crack. Apply alcohol or IPA to clean the resin tank. Wipe both sides of the resin tank clean with tissues until no resin can be seen. The edges of the resin tank can be cleaned using a soft bristle brush. The cleaned resin tank film should be transparent. Use a dust-free cloth to wipe the touch screen. For dust on LCD screen, use a dust-free cloth to clean. For liquid resin on LCD screen, use a small amount of alcohol to clean. If resin solidifies on the LCD screen, replace the screen protector immediately. Use alcohol and tissue to clean resin from the build platform promptly after each use. Do not leave resin in the resin tank for more than 24 hours without printing. When recycling the resin, it is recommended to use an 80 to 200 mesh filter to filter the resin. Resin should be stored in dark conditions with an ideal temperature range from 10 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius and humidity less than or equal to 45% RH. Shelf life is 48 months, use up within 180 days after opening the bottle. If you need to transport the printer, please make sure to keep it in its original packaging. The resin tank and the build platform cannot be installed on the printer when shipping. Remember to unlock the casters when moving the printer and lock them back when in position. Let's move on to the last. 
In this part, we will know about the lifespan of different parts of the printer, the printer's warranty policy, and the assistance we can provide. In correct usage, the lifespan of an LED light is typically 10,000 hours. LCD screen is 4,000 hours. The lifespan of a resin tank film is typically rated for 30,000 layers of printing, which is equivalent to consuming 10 liters of resin. The shelf life of our resin is 48 months, and once opened, it should be used within 180 days. The warranty period for the entire printer is one year, while the warranty period for the LCD screen is three months. Consumables are not covered by warranty. The warranty period begins from the date of receiving the printer. Consumables include resin tank, resin tank film, resin tank cover, shading tape, LCD protect film. During using, if you require any technical support, please feel free to contact us by email or visit our official website for more information. If you could give us a few details and we'll offer the best solution, please share your machine model and its serial number. Additionally, providing pictures or videos demonstrating the issue would be helpful. If available, please include the slicing file or STL file for further analysis. Scan the QR code to get more resources. We have basic usage guides, maintenance guides, and knowledge base for NB and our other products. Thank you all for watching our training video. We hope you found valuable information and insights from it. If you have any questions or would like further information, please feel free to reach out to us. We are here to assist and support you. Once again, thank you for watching. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.